God damn it, that's pretty good. I get the level next time. And we're back. Dawkins, I think we've become a little bit partial to uh, pretty good at that b-ball. I think uh, we're starting to really want to see their infected attacks click like they have been at some point, because uh, I think we're, we're finding ourselves trying to root for them a little <laughs> bit <laughs> during these war rooms. So, uh, sorry to Team Royalty, uh, we're, just, we're just trying to support these new teams, but uh, I a good job by Team Royalty to shut them out. I love seeing new teams have success, because I know that for them it probably doesn't happen often, especially going, against, going up against teams of Royalty's caliber, but something nice to see. Again, we see Charger going in first. Misses his charge, he is lit on fire, uh, trying to go for a punch on <laughs> He does get a punch on uh, purple, but uh, everything is just really scattered right now. You know, b ball, if you guys get your get your infected together, you know, don't try to rush it. They do so much better. They do have great opening attacks when they're all together. They all know what's going on, and you know, they have the time to talk about it. But as you said, Dawkins, when we're in the heat of things and they have to make an on the fly decision call or an attack, they're just really separated. They're sending chargers in first, their main damage dealers which are getting focused fired by, you know, top teams. It's just, you know, it's just a kind of scatter. But we do see the fact that the boomer gets uh, a boom on Nick. Nice time there on Michelle. The pull is going to happen uh, and the coach in the back. The tongue gets cleared. The smoker is still alive. Jockey's going to land for a second. Uh, you know, decent attack, but everything again is kind of scattered around. Survivors are pretty split up right now and the tank is about to come up. Infected War? What do you think? Sure. Let's take it to Infected War. Hey, they're out of pills, pills on the stage, though, so... Ooh. Mall talk coming in there. Oh, fuck. Did you get lit? Oh, man. Yeah. Ooh. Let's let the tank get in there a little. Oops. <laughs> Nice. And we're back. Uh, you know, it's just an unfortunate light there by uh, Team Royalty. They threw that molly out there and it had a really good spread. It's pretty much spread throughout the entire room. And it looks like Team Royalty will make this uh, finale. And they are making it with like a 570 health bonus. Well, Copter is already in there. Everything's coming in a little bit. There it is. Hunter's going to land on Coke. And that's going to be it, and they're just going to jump on and say, well... I'm not going to... I mean, I was kind of expecting scores to be this far away, but me, just like any other person, was hoping for, you know, the new team to really bring it to them and keep it a close game, but... There's nothing really you can do against a team that has as much experience uh, as a royalty when your team just doesn't. Yeah, it just so takes time. And you know what? I mean, they did uh, up until map three and four. It was really good. They did. Yeah. You know, they kept the point spread. Uh, they did. They did take a little bit too much damage during map two tank. But you know, apart from that, I I've seen a lot of good stuff coming from B ball. Uh, and I, I, you know, I can't wait to see some of their other matches. They're in a pool that's actually relatively hard. I mean, they've got the team, your team. You know, they've got royalty. They've got uh, who's Carmel's that team. Yeah, you got Carmel and team. I think there's one more too. Uh, uh, Coach Two Point teams in there too. Yeah, I mean, so you know, they've got a lot of hard games up uh, up ahead of them. And you know, as long as they persevere and stick it out, I think they're going to become, you know, a really good team because they're going to get a lot of good experience. Yeah, they do have a lot of potential there. Chemistry is really good, uh, infected when they're hitting together, and uh, I think they just need to work on their tank support and their survivor clears. And that's uh, if they can get those sorted out, it's going to be a good team. And here comes Royalty's attack, a quad boom there, jumping in that killer toy. Here comes the attack. Everyone's trying to get those tank tickets to be tank. And uh, the hunter gets this up and killed. The smoker's going in for guys. He gets like one or two off and gets killed. But it does look like Killatoy has enough points to get tanked. Does he get it? 
Tank is in the hands of I just want to make one quick remark before I go to a worm. Um, as I said earlier, the survivors are getting these booms that are landing at least like three people. That's another thing that just takes like experience, knowing where the boomer is probably going to spawn and, you know, being ready to pop it. And we can take it to uh, infected worm now. What the hell's going on? They're split. I need to get that guy in front. Oh god. I'm gonna go in soon. Mm, you're alone. Where's... I should probably use the tables to wipe them. They do a thousand damage. Mm-hmm. Jump rock! Back of the house. Super smooth. <laughs> Trying hard. Ooh, a charger. Where the hell am I? Why? What is this? Hey, hey, pull pull somebody back and I'll cover with a charge. I better don't worry. You guys are pushing in again, good. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh. I didn't have another move than that. I got a wow. bomb, And we're back. Uh, that's a, a lot of damage going out to uh, B-Ball. Pretty good at B-Ball. Uh, from Team Royalty. A great tank there. Played by Killatoy. Uh, the Killa Tank. Uh, 284 points of damage going out. We saw a lot of good punches. A lot of good rocks. Not a wipe. But uh, it looks like he definitely... He Targeted the boom people in front while these were separated. Nice 18 point damage. That's gonna end cap him. I think that was fair or purple uh, with that pound. Chargers gonna spawn in on top and go for a mystery charge, and it's not gonna happen. I think they're just kind of playing around now. Uh, that's the end of the game. We've got three survivors bleeding out, two or three have gone down, and uh, you know, one with permanent health, so it's it's pretty much a good game. When I was thinking about that early, that opening tank, before they had the forklift, I liked it a lot because yeah, depending on what you do with that tank really determines the rest of the map. You saw uh, Team Basketball only get one in cap with that tank due to the forklift. That means only one survivor is going to be bleeding for the rest of the map. In this case, um, Basketball has three bleeding, so it's most likely definitely going to be a white for somewhere on the map. Yep, I mean, the difference between going for forklift and not, as long as you can get in there with very few amount of punches, or, you know, without taking very much spread. Chip, then... Oh, wait, I, that was... I don't, um, hello? It's just a... It's just, <laughs> hello? <laughs> <laughs> what? Sorry, I said something <laughs> different. <laughs> Pretty much, pretty much, I mean, if you if you go for that forklift, you have to get it in quick. You have to take as less chip as you possibly can, and you have to make sure you can just get it into play so that your team can support you. I mean, if you can't, if you take too much chip, you're going to have a bad tank. Uh, it's like, it's kind of like if you french fry instead of pizza, you're going to have a bad time. <laughs> nice um, charge there uh, on Coach. He's going to get a few pounds. Pull comes in a little late. Nice try boom there. They're going to take that boom again. Like you said, Dawkins, another multi boom for uh, royalty. Yeah, about that opening tank. I know my team usually doesn't like to go for the forklift, just because usually you see tanks take a lot of chip getting it in. Like in, uh, in basketball's case, their tank was at around 70% health when it was in, which isn't bad. Um, I've seen much worse. And, uh, I don't know, we just like to get a good spread with the tank, basically, and get people bleeding out so that we can assure that wipe later. Oh, what a charge there, double charge on the pickup, and here comes the pull, and then the boom on the one survivor that's still up. That charge guy is down, the smoker is still going, here comes the boomer to intercept, nice <laughs> pop for that boom, that's going to delay a little bit for some more damage. Uh, the horse going to come in, Rochelle is like three or four strikes away. And the tank is going to spawn in, there's really no point to going to a war room. Mason is the final tank here, he's going to just push straight in probably. We still got one survivor so. there. So yeah, this is a white tank, if uh, as long as I don't mess anything up. Um, yeah, I'd say overall, wow that would have been a sweet pass.
Yeah, I think uh, after Team Basketball gets a lot more, no, no, a lot more. After they get more experience and learn, um, you know, where certain spawns are, where teams like to hit, and really when to hit as infected, and get their chemistry down so that they're hitting with four every time, I think they can be a pretty solid team for sure. Definitely agree. We do have one more up that's Dirt Nasty. That's a good game from both teams. Final score is 5,404 to 1,545. Team Royalty taking the win over Team Pretty Good at Basketball. Um, and, you know, not a big surprise, but again, great effort by uh, Pretty Good at Basketball. And, you know, we hope to see them come out in more matches uh, in their pool and uh, just do better each match. But uh, again, I'm Rorick. My co-caster tonight was the lovely voluptuous Dawkins. Our cameraman, uh, thank you for cameraing at last second, Rev. Uh, again, you know, you had some problems with your stream, but thank you for casting on your Twitch account and stuff. And then uh, thanks to Sud for the high quality HD cast on Left 4 Dead 2 TV. Um, and then, of course, to Jeff for, you know, hosting all these casts and partnering with Left 4 Dead 2 TV.net. And uh, come out to see another Jeff cast. Uh, Before we go, I have two oh, shout outs that have actually been uh, sitting here that I haven't read. A shout out from Scorpio Girl, shout out to Dawkins, you're an awesome caster. And I have a shout out from Malevolent, shout out to Dawkins, you're my best friend and you're amazing at both Left 4 Dead games. Aw, oh, that's sweet. Gee. So, with that, we're uh, gonna sign out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.